Christina Marassi and Richard Pruskuskis. And we are here on day 26 of 30 Days of Genius. And guess what? I have a fun announcement. I was invited to be on a teleseminar with none other than Gay Hendricks. How cool is that? <laughs> cool. So I have a dear friend named Julie Steelman who read the book and loved it, The Big Leap, and wanted to really create an, a conversation with Gay Hendricks. And she asked me to participate with that. So that's happening Tuesday night. It's a free call. We'd love to have you on it. And one of the biggest topics we'll be talking about, which is very fun to unveil today, is something called Einstein time. It was probably one of my favorite parts of the book, and I'm so excited to share it with you today. So, uh, it was very interesting. Basically, Gay Hendricks and The Big Leap kind of delineated between Newtonian time and Einstein time. And so, Richard might share some of that for yes. us. Yes. Newtonian time is what we've lived in and have known for centuries, really that time is separate from us, that there's a lack of time. Mm -hmm. And what ends up happening in that is that we're victimized by time. We're rushing around, cramming mm. things in. We think we don't have enough time. Einstein time is completely radical and totally different. That time is where we're from. Mm. And time is actually inside us, and we have the power to make time. Cool stuff. So we thought we might physicalize that for you to give yes. you another idea. So we're going to back up and um, show you first what Newtonian time looks like. Okay, ready? Go. Go. spaciousness mm. we come inside and time starts here time starts on the inside and we are the source of time it all begins here So that's a pretty different feeling, wouldn't you say? The rush, 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 hurry, hurry of Newtonian versus Einstein time. And Gay Hendricks gives some suggestions of how we can claim Einstein time for ourselves. He asks some wonderful questions. Number one, he says it's all about ownership. So he asks, is there a place in your life where you have not taken ownership over something? Have you taken full ownership of your life? And I'll tell you what, when I asked myself this question when I was reading the book, I was kind of surprised to realize it was a deep question. I didn't, it wasn't a subtle, I went inward and I asked and I was like, I don't think I had. It was very deep. So I took that commitment and said, okay, I am taking full ownership of my life. And you know what? Things started to shift from there and I think it actually led me to the 30 days of genius. So you might want to try that for yourself. Really check it out. Are you taking ownership of your life? Are there places of your life that you disown and see if you can take ownership? Mm. Powerful, right? Amazing stuff. And then there was this other piece that was so important about stepping into Einstein time. Basically, no more time complaints. So we all do them, right? I don't have enough time. I don't know what to do. There's not enough time in the day to be my genius. All these time complaints and time complaining that happens. So strict diet of time complaints. Can you do that? I am willing to do that. <laughs> so it's a great um, inquiry for you to really check into your life, see where places you haven't taken ownership of stuff and take that for yourself. See if you can really claim your own life and no more time complaints and watch how much space you'll have for your genius. I bet there's going to be all these things opening up where we can all be in our genius and no more complaints of like, I don't have time for genius. I don't have time to be creative. I don't have time, enough time, enough time. You do have time, it's on the inside, and you make it, you are the source of it. So, anything else on that? Just very quickly, Gay Hendricks found, when, upon uh, engaging in this practice for himself, he was able to accomplish twice as much in half the time. Wouldn't we love that? <laughs> that is pretty cool to me. So. so, there's more about that in the book, and there's more about that that will be talked about on our call on Tuesday night when you get to hear from none other than Gay Hendricks. So, please join us. We'd love to have you along. And for now, it's all aboard on the Genius Train. Check out Einstein Time for yourself. Take ownership and woo woo. Take care. <laughs>